Hi everybody, it's Kathy from Beats Boxes and Beyond and today I'm sharing with you uh, something I recently have worked on. Uh, it's the fall season uh, right now while I'm taping this and I was inspired to do something a little different than just a journal this time around. Uh, I had I had a few of these cigar boxes and I wanted to do something where I could put a journal within a box. Well, it started out pretty simple and then it got more and more complicated and I just want to share with you the final outcome um, of my project here. This is just a wooden cigar box. It started out black, so that helped me out quite a bit. Um, I covered the front and back with some textured papers and um, I have put, this is wooden, a wooden filigree piece that I picked up and um, a spider, a plastic toy spider. And I just covered it to make it look a little vintage, a little old, a little leathery. Um, and then of course there's a clasp on the side. If I clasp it right now and close it, it'll fall over. So I'm trying to keep it up so you guys can see it. Uh, so anyways, um, yeah, let's get inside and I'll show you what it looks like in here. <laughs> okay, this is my magic cabinet. Um, what inspired me was not only the fall season, but I am also a fan of Outlander. And Gilius Duncan is a kind of a witchy person from the future that goes in the past. And uh, if you know, understand Outlander, you understand Claire. Claire is a healer, a, and they consider her a white witch back in the 1700s. So all of that kind of inspired me. Um, this side of this side of the cabinet, I have test tubes that I've aged to make it look old. Um, this one here, I don't know if you can really see very well, it has, um, what are those bugs called? They're carcasses. Um, oh golly, I'm drawing a blank. They make the really loud sound in the trees during the summertime. If I think of it, I'll let you know. Um, let's see, and then here I have uh, some, actually this is one snake skin. I was able to fit in that tube. It's not a very big snake skin, but it was kind of long. This one here, I have a white feather. And this one here are just some of those mini little pine cones that I get off of my grandmother's tree. The background I put in here is a, uh, a black with script on it. Uh, scrapbook paper and this is a reproduction it's all in French I have no clue what it says but I just love the calligraphy work the penmanship of it and I think it accents uh, this side so much so much so um, this side here okay uh, let's start with the upper level here I have I have a little tiny vial here and I don't know if you can quite see it these are all glued in place these here are kind of loose and I this this is a metal strap that I put in here and painted and, and made it you know aged it a little but this is this is thin copper right here um, but I these you really can't take out and use or or add to or anything because of the lip in the box these are kind of permanently in place and you can't really take them out and refill or do whatever you want so back to this side, yeah, all these bottles are glued on this shelf. This first one here are butterfly wings. They're not real butterfly wings, they're faux butterfly wings. This bottle here, I have some moss in it. This bottle here is just a black little bottle that I just thought was really cool. This bottle here is full of some uh, quartz. These are Cape May diamonds from the shores in New Jersey. And this bottle here is a teeny tiny bottle with a couple of messages tied up in it. And the last bottle back here is a small miniature bottle with the X's on it. It is just white salt, sea salt. 
Um, every witch's cabinet should have a candle. I have uh, a skull. This was a uh, bone bead skull. And then I just really liked, I put this, I put this image behind um, this glass piece and I just, I really like that image a lot of the eye. So down here is where I have in chained in place. This is a, a necklace closure, nothing special. And I have a black chain here. Let's see if I can do this one handed. Hold on now, okay. So here is the small journal, and because of the limited room I, I had to work with, it was a very small journal. Um, but behind the journal, I have these cards. I, this, I don't know if it was some kind of a tarot reading card or what, but is that cool or what? Found this online. Um, I reprinted it and backed it up with cardstock. And then this one here is a really good one of... Um, I don't know now. I found this online and I printed it off, backed it up, but you know how in the Victorian times they did the um, pictures of people that were dead? I'm wondering if this is what this is from, but I just felt it's so spooky that it would work really well uh, in, this, in this box of goodies. And then I have another card here of seances, of course and that I pulled off online. It's a vintage vintage picture, and I backed it up with cardstock. This is called a belly band, or just a band, and that's where I tuck these loose pieces in. Now you can tuck any of your little treasures in here, but you don't want to make it too thick because this is just paper from an old book. And again, here I have the black um, paper lining the inside of the other side of the cabinet. So, let me put these there. Let's go take a look inside the journal, okay? It's a small journal, size of my hand. Um, it's leather um, bound. And I tried to age it a little bit with some paints just to make it look scuffed up. These are two motifs that I found online and printed them off and I uh, layered them. I just like how those came out. Made the book look really old and like it'd been through a lot. Okay, so let's open up. All the writing that I've done in the book I did myself. Um, I'm not an expert in penmanship, but I just love doing it. This is a quote that I found online that somebody described what a white witch is, somebody who's positive and not negative. And the spells that I have in the book are not dark, evil spells. There are just little things I found online that um, I thought are fun, okay? So here we have a sleep spell, and in between some of the spells, I have these pictures, and here's a smaller picture of the death lady. And this is the back of a playing card. I just really like the pattern. We got the Celtic knots going and all that. Um, this is just a, a little story about the sun and the moon. Here's that eye picture, the same one that I put up here. Okay. Uh, a reproduction magic wizard card. And a couple of little, I don't know, inspirational type little goofy spells. Here is the... Um, yeah, Ouija board, <laughs> I couldn't think of it. This was actually a deck of playing cards that I found in the store. I saw them at the bookstore, I saw them at our neighborhood drug stores, anywhere they sell decks of cards, look for them. They're really cool to add to your journaling. Uh, a pack of vintage alphabet cards that I, I bought. Here's a, a wishing rock, um, little thing that's kind of neat and on um, I wanted to show you on the back side of all my pages are blank so if you want to add any of your own little spells or inspirational things or pictures or anything you can do that so it's still considered a journal if you wanted to journal your own little bit in there uh, here's a spider web something about spider webs this one's about ladybugs uh, this is just a little 
um, moon picture that I, I really, really liked. This one is about pine and pine needles and pine trees. A couple of young girl witches. This could have very well been a Halloween picture from long ago. And here's the Ouija board pieces, the collection of them. Here's a bit about cinnamon. And here's just a couple of little um, recipe spell things. Uh, in, to, this is a spell for uh, gaining confidence. Here's the Triwizard Cup. If you're a Harry Potter fan, I am. I'm a Potterhead, if you want to say that. Uh, I've got a deck of cards of all the Harry Potter things, and I thought that was just uh, a neat little thing to add in there. Here was another deck of cards that I found, and the backs of them were all this design. And, of course, I found them in a thrift store, and I thought I've got to have them for my witch books. I thought this was a clever little book of a, a picture, I mean, of a witch running through the woods. See the edge? The, all my papers here are coffee stained, so they're all um, you know, individually done and they all show different uh, textures on them and, and designs, but isn't that cool? This one is about the acorn. And this is just a little quote that I found online that I really liked. And of course, we got a skull picture on here. This was from a medical book, actually. Uh, this is a tarot card, a fortune telling card. Um, I don't understand them that much, but I had a deck and, uh, of them, and, and this one had a lot of script on it, and I thought I'd add to it. Here's a couple of tea recipes that I wanted to add into the, the book. Phases of the Moon, another witchy picture of friends. I just love this picture. It's one big picture, but I, ha I folded it in half um, just to put on this little, little page here, and I just really like those ladies. They've got a lot of character. Um, memory spell, listen to the whispers of old trees. Yeah, and that one has a picture of a really, really old lady. No, I don't know. I mean, I love her. Look at her. She's got her camera on and everything. I don't know if they superimposed the witch's hat onto this, but this was an online picture. Um, just love her. Love her, love her, love her. And then the last page. Magic is essentially the higher understanding of nature, and I highly agree that to that quote. Uh, so, yeah, that is, that's my book journal, whatever you want to call it, um, and my piece. It's not really a functional piece, although you can with the journal here. It's more of a display piece, and it is on exhibit right now, currently, but, uh, and this is um, late September. So by the end, by, sorry about the chimes, by uh, next week, and I would say early October. I'm not sure if I'm going to put it for sale online because I think I might have problems shipping it if anybody wanted to purchase. But um, I'm going to try. I really am. I'd hate to send it to somebody and something fall off of it and be broken. But we'll see. If you're interested in something like this, leave a comment below and I will get back right to you. Uh, you can also contact me through my Facebook page at Beads, Boxes, and Beyond. I also have an Instagram. You can follow me there or you can uh, contact me there at Beads, Boxes, and Beyond. And of course, my Etsy shop. And that's where this would be listed and posted uh, when I get around to um, selling it, okay, if that works out. So uh, Etsy shop is Beads, Boxes, and Beyond. So I just wanted to share a little flip through with this. I'm still on the fence about putting it online for, to sell. Um, but if you are interested, um, let me know at any of those social medias or write down in the comments. Uh, you can go ahead and subscribe to my channel here if you like what you see. And whenever I post a new video, uh, you will be informed. Now, I don't do a lot of video postings as much as I'd like to, but um, 
when I do, you know, it's usually a flip through. It might be a demo on how to make something, but uh, basically I, I like to do flip throughs on my things. So I'm so happy that you came to, to see what I'm working on and to, to view this piece, my magic cabinet for this uh, fall season. So thank you for stopping by and we'll, we'll catch you later. Okay, bye guys.